So we passed security and now we're heading on down to the western wall. As you see, nothing has stopped here. Construction continues trying to make the place ready for the many thousands upon hundreds of thousands that will be here. And uh, that's just the beginning. Because as you know, the western wall, which is simply a wall, but it's become much more than that. First Kings 8, King Solomon dedicates a temple and he asks God, may this place that I'm building, may be a place that all the prayers come to and come directly to you. And he goes on to say that whoever prays towards this place, whether they be of the people of Israel or not, whether they live here or whether they don't live here, please answer their prayers. Because of the so-called political realities of our time, we can't get to where we need to be, which is up on top. And then over into that place where God's presence is there forever. But we're getting to the closest towards we can. In keeping with King Solomon's perhaps even prophetic understanding that at times we'll only be able to pray towards this place. So that's where we're going. We're going to go to the Western Walls. You see their compartments or little sections so that every section will only have uh, up to 10 to 15 people. I think the rule is 19, but they usually keep it down to 15. Everything is numbered. As I go further down, you'll see they'll actually first stop me and then they will tell me which of the areas I should go down to. But at this point, the plaza is still empty, waiting. If you remember, I sent a picture of a wedding on a rooftop. There is the canopy, still there, but the place is waiting and uh, people are there. People are, nothing is going to keep Jewish people from coming together in prayer. You can pray alone, you can pray anywhere, but to be at the wall that is the closest towards to that sanctuary that will be, uh, that's a very powerful thing. And to be at a place where so many people have cried their tears or sang their songs of joy and have offered their souls up as an offering, there's nothing like that. And there's nothing more empowering. And there's nothing more uplifting. And with Hashem's help, it will be filled with the songs of joy, the songs of prayer. It will be filled again with even those tears of people who are broken and need empowerment and need fixing. So we're going to go down to the Western Wall. I'm going to see which compartment I'm assigned to. Hopefully find or will find a book of Psalms. And then I will say goodbye as I turn to my Psalms. The ladder that always takes us into higher places. Here we go. Here it says only 15 people in each of the compartments. I'm going to turn now to number nine, find myself a book of Psalms, spend time in the place where I need to be, and I wish you all a wonderful day. May all your prayers be answered as well at all times.